So let's go live uh, to Rome now. Italy is slowly returning to some kind of normality after one of the strictest lockdowns in Europe. The country has begun reopening bars and cafes as a, a rate of deaths and uh, the infections fall. Pools and gyms and theatres are likely to open next week, but the country is uh, operating under strict physical distancing rules. Italy now has uh, 65,000 active cases and the death toll stands at 32,000. Uh, let's chat now to Italian journalist Manuela Biancospino, who's based in Rome. Manuela, very good evening to you. Thank you very much indeed for your time. So this is a big step that Italy is taking, having at some point one of uh, the world's highest infections. Uh, how's the reopening going? Ciao, Griselda. It's nice to talk to you. It's a pleasure to be here, uh, to, to be in your uh, live uh, show. So um, all the Italian people, of course, uh, has been so tired to uh, stay in this lockdown. So as soon as the restaurants and some other stores reopened, uh, they just went out. Of course, uh, uh, like 60 percent of people is still afraid to go to a restaurant uh, because uh, of the of the virus, so of, of course. But uh, there is a hope. I mean, we want to be positive. So if you go uh, downtown Rome, now you see people going around, going inside the stores, even though the restrictions are still high, of course. Yeah, uh, I understand that restaurant tables are placed at 3.3 uh, feet apart. I mean, what are some of the other measures that have been put in place to ensure the safety of everyone? So you always have to wear masks when uh, uh, you, you go inside uh, a restaurant or a bar to wear gloves uh, to stay at that distance, uh, as you said. And uh, I mean, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's a, a, a kind of pain, uh, but people want to, to go out. Uh, and so uh, they respect the rules. Uh, uh, these uh, three days uh, of the phase two, uh, a lot of people, a lot of young people went out uh, and uh, some of the governors were really concerned uh, because of the, co the, the concentration of people, too many people. Yeah. So they said that if uh, uh, people still go out uh, with the no uh, attention to, to the rules, they, they have to close again yeah. because they, if they are afraid of the contagious to, to, to grow up again. Yeah. Here in South Africa, you know, uh, church gatherings are still not allowed, but I understand that worshippers are also allowed to congregate uh, there as well. Uh, uh, tell us a bit about that and, you know, how, uh, you know, some of those within that sector are saying they're going to ensure that certain rules are, uh, uh, are, 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 are remain applicable to ensure that, uh, you know, the country continues to see a decrease in the number of infected people. Yeah. As you said, I mean, we have to, to respect uh, all of those rules uh, and you have to observe at least one and a half uh, meter of distance from uh, one person to, to another. And um, you have to do this uh, in churches and restaurants, hairdressers, beauticians, uh, bedding establishments everywhere. Yeah. And so uh, from now, only these uh, um, kind of stores have open. And from the 25th of May, swimming pools, gyms and sports centers will reopen. And from the 3rd of June, uh, we'll uh, reopen the chance to go among regions, to go from one region to another, because now it's still forbidden. You cannot go to a region, from one region to another. It's, you have to stay only inside the region yeah. unless we have uh, a specific and valid reason to go so somewhere else. I mean, yeah. Is there, is, is there still a sense of panic, though? I mean, your country is not yet out of the woods. And, uh, you know, travel is also set uh, uh, to be allowed from early June. Yeah, from the 3rd of June. Yeah. So from the 3rd of June, uh, so you can travel between regions. As I said, travel from one European country to another. But still, I mean, uh, if you don't have really to move or to travel, you don't move and people are afraid to move. So now, um, I mean, as far as is, uh, is concerned yeah. uh, to, to me, uh, my parents live in Veneto, which is a region far 600 kilometers from Rome. So as soon as uh, they open again, so the 3rd of June, I just take the train and go to visit them because I haven't seen them for three months. Yeah. So this is a valid region. Sure. <laughs> of course. <laughs>
So what sense are you getting from people on the ground? You know, it's been months under lockdown and, uh, you know, the sense of how, you know, your country is going to move forward. I guess, you know, for the entire world, uh, we won't go back to the way that things were. Uh, what is the general sense that you're getting from ordinary people as they try to uh, pick up the pieces of their lives, if they can at all? So they want to, but it's it's really very difficult. So some of the money they that was expected to come uh, from the government uh, to all uh, uh, people who work, to entrepreneurs, to yeah. uh, to normal workers are not arrived yet. Is not arrived yet. So this is the panic. So we want to start again, but we don't have money. So, um, I mean, uh, psychologically, psychologically, we are ready to start uh, to move on, uh, but we need money because uh, the economy needs to, to, to spread, I mean, to, to go around. Yeah. So money needs to, to go around. And so if we have money, we spend uh, and the economy starts again. And so we really uh, hope that the government uh, will yeah. send uh, the money as soon as possible. All right, thank you very much indeed for your time. Italian journalist Emanuela Biancospino, uh, live to us there from Rome uh, on uh, Italy, slowly opening up again. Uh, I guess, uh, you know, you see a lot of those uh, people getting their nails done there. Uh, I think uh, as uh, we move forward as South Africa and we uh, lower those levels, many will be looking forward uh, to that kind of pampering. Thank you very much indeed. Live to us from Rome.